Well, good afternoon, guys. Just going to show you how I program the uh, 32U4. Um, I'm going to program it uh, to be used as a Leonardo. Um, after so many chips have failed on my part, I thought, uh, well, I'll program my own. So I brought the, uh, the socket, which you can see in front of you, and uh, wired it up as basically um, like an Adreno. It's just got a, a 12 meg oscillator, so the chip can actually function. Uh, we're going to program it using the ISP port as there's no bootloader on it or anything so uh, what we're going to do is load that on via the uh, um, the Atmel ICE and uh, Atmel Studio. Right well the chip is actually on the in the socket we'll close the socket and we'll power the chip and as you can see on here the lights come on so it's all set up now to take a basic program. Now, if you look over to the screen, we have the ice apply. Uh, we won't worry about the oscillator calibration, that's reasonably okay. Memory, so what I'm going to do is loading the uh, program which I pulled off the Leonardo, which is basically only the bootloader. So I'm just going to pop the bootloader on. As you can see, it's going on. EPP, the EPROM, okay. Now I'm going to go over to the fuses. These need to be set, otherwise things do not correctly work. Um, using the fuse calculator, um, which I have done, where was I writing it down? Here we go. Uh, we can set these fuses, all the three settings down here, um, or you can set them individually up here. And the, the settings, uh, if I remember rightly, uh, CB, on the extended, so CB, um, DA on the high, and F, oh, BF on the low, so I can see if you're looking, BF for low. Right, now that should set our uh, settings here. As such, uh, so what we've we got extended off, high off, uh, that should be on. Uh, no, it shouldn't turn you away. Uh, that's correct. Uh, so what have we got? Uh, yeah, uh, clock out should be on. That should be off. I don't know why I ran the wrong way. That's shown as a 9E for some reason. Let me just check this. D8, 9E. Uh, D8 BF that should be so this must be wrong it is set that down to there BF there we go so you want it set for external crystal 8 meg start up time um, 16 and 65 millisecond and program those right they are now programmed and verified as you can see so I'll just check that I've got those correct uh, yep okay you can see it's now popped back to Leonardo over here so it's now appearing um, uh, with its USB port, now it's got its bootloader. Uh, well, we can go over to the Adreno, which I've got a blinky sketch on. As you can see down here, the, the LED on port 41, is it, I think, is not blinking. So I'm now going to load the Adreno sketch. So we'll uh, just check we've got it selected. Com5, yeah, Adreno Leonardo, and we will... Compile and upload. There we go. You do get some strange things initially because it, uh, oh, it didn't, it went straight through the same time. So there you go, it has uploaded and you can now see that the LED is blinking. Now I've had some problems where these have uh, disabled the upload after one upload. <laughs> I found the problem for that, it's now been done. So what I'm going to do now is just change the speed of the blinking and uh, we'll upload it again so we'll have it to uh, a delay of 200 and a delay of uh, what should we have in here we'll have 100 and we'll compile and upload again oh, let me stay up on the screen here guys stay on here as you can see loaded thank you gone over it and if you look down to the led you can see it's now flashing at lower rate um, and that's it done so there you go